is a very common steak here in Florida. This is a king steak. A king snake. Okay. The reason they call it a king snake is because the king snake eats other snakes. <laughs> Now you may look at this guy and go, how does that little snake eat all the other snakes? Okay. He doesn't stay this little. He will grow to be about 10 feet. And when he grows those 10 feet, he'll be a strong 10 feet and he'll weigh a lot too. Okay. Here in the Everglades, we have four different types of venomous snakes. We have the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake, the Pygmy Rattlesnake, the Coral Snake, and the Water Moccasin. This guy, when he reaches 10 feet, We'll eat all those snakes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay? And some people ask me, how is it that uh, even though he reaches 10 feet, how does he take on the rattlesnake? The rattlesnake is a pretty mean custom, you know what I'm saying? But he uses his weight against the rattlesnake, pins him down, chokes him out, kills him, and eats him. Okay? So this snake... Out here in Florida, the farmers out here in Florida, sometimes they'll have a rattlesnake problem in the farm. And what they do is that they get the 10 foot versions of these, a bunch of them, and they let them go in the farm. Goodbye rattlesnake. So if anybody here has any venomous snake problems in your backyard, let me know. I'll give you his business card. All right. All right, guys, I just wanted to bring him out for a minute so you guys could see him. But now I'm going to go in there. And we're going to talk a little bit about alligators. I mean, look at the smiles on their faces just waiting for me to go in there. Here we 